What to do when the narcissist has provoked you to the point where you almost don't recognize yourself. They have poked, pushed, prodded. You've become angry to a level that you didn't even know you had in you. Well, let's break it down. Let's begin first by analyzing why the narcissist does that. There are two main reasons why the narcissist is going to provoke you. The first one is they just simply get pure joy and pleasure in triggering people because it makes them feel that they have a level of power and control which reinforces their superiority complex. By being able to make you feel lesser than, it elevates their weak, feeble self-confidence. They are actually very fragile when it comes to self-esteem. They in fact have a very low self-esteem and the only way to validate this fake superficial bravado, delusional bravado, that they are worthy, that they are amazing, that they are great, is to belittle, insult, undermine, bully people into submission. Then they feel validated, they feel strong. They are simply very weak, fragile, insecure. So that's the reason number one. It's just simply self-inflation of the ego. And then number two is when they can trigger you into an emotional reaction, an emotional response, that is their supply. They love it, it makes them feel good. It's their supply, they need that from you. And that's why they provoke you. And then once they can no longer get that reaction from you, they will discard you and go and find it somewhere else. But they are in constant need of that supply. So one is the power trip to feel good about themselves, but that really connects to number two. The reason why they have to have that power trip is because that's the supply that they crave, that they need. Without that narcissist supply, their fragile ego crumbles because they have to face who they really are, which is basically a nobody, a nothing. They are empty vessels without a soul. And if you have now experienced that toxic relationship, there are a couple of things you need to understand about the narcissist. If they get you to that point of anger, rage even, that you don't recognize yourself, it's definitely time to get out of the relationship. You should have left a long time ago, but here's what happens. You get reeled in, the gaslighting, the love bombing, you get reeled in and maybe you don't see it coming. And because you don't see it coming, they've charmed you, they've manipulated you, they've made you feel like you're the soulmate. And you fall for that romantic notion of the perfect relationship. It felt so good. And then progressively comes the insults and the injury, the belittling, the undermining, the gaslighting, the, the flying monkeys to reaffirm that they are great, the isolation, the triangulation, all these strategies strategically come into place to provoke you and push you. And because you don't see it coming, you be, it's easy to become prey. So if you have experienced that, forgive yourself. They are always a step ahead. Manipulators are always a step ahead. Also, if you're an empath, a kind-hearted soul, an HSP, a generally caring, nurturing, gentle soul, you don't think or imagine that people can be this dark and evil. So it doesn't come front to mind that this is what's happening because you haven't even envisioned this type of behavior. It's not a part of your moral code. So you don't see it coming. But once you've identified that this is what's happening, you have to now embrace, this is not healthy for me. This is toxic. I am becoming somebody that I am not. I have to get out of this situation. Why? You've got two choices. You can try and change them. And this is the romantic notion of the empath. Oh, but I'm going to love them to, to change. I'm going to inspire them to become better versions of themselves. They cannot be fixed. Secondly, it's not your job to fix anybody, let alone the narcissist. So give up that notion. But that's maybe why you stayed. You had hope. You had a romantic belief that humanity cannot be this ugly and with your kindness, you're going to heal them and they're going to become better versions of, of themselves. It's not going to happen. Even if you love them and you didn't love them, you were addicted to them and they never, ever loved you. Let go of that illusion. They never loved you. They loved 
how they could manipulate you. They loved how they could get that supply. They loved how they could get you enraged and have those emotional responses because it empowered them. That's what they loved. They never loved you. It's all about them. So now that you've identified that and you've been able to separate yourself, forgive yourself, have empathy for you. You went through a horrific experience. Be kind and gentle to your soul. Be understanding. Stop beating yourself up. But I, how could I be so stupid? What was wrong with me? There was nothing wrong with you. It was everything wrong with them. So forgive yourself. Now comes the big decision. You've become this person that you don't recognize. You don't like who you've become. And the red flags are waving like crazy in the storm. And yet you want to stay. Cut the umbilical cord. Start working on the addiction. Get over the addiction and remove yourself from this horrible equation that only ends up with a minus number. There's nothing positive about the situation. The outcome is negative, 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 negative. Leave, get out now. Find yourself again before they take you down a path that you may never recover from. This is now about saving your own soul, saving your mental and emotional stability. And it's not about you now being heartless and breaking up with them and they'll play victim. They will play victim. Stay firm to what needs to happen. Get out of the situation. It's only going to continue. Find yourself again. My name is Vital Germain. If my content brings you value, please make sure to click the subscribe button. I am a seven-time author. In particular, this book, Pink is the Color of Empathy. It is changing lives at a rate that I could not have imagined. I keep getting endless inboxes on the value that it's brought. I highly recommend this book. It's a guide for the empath to become an empowered, conscious empath. It's also, I share some action steps on how to recover from narcissist abuse. It is one of the most devastating, soul-breaking experiences a human can have. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching.